all right. So I said I'm going to go ahead and update you all on my dating post-Cleveland arrival and sexual um, experiences. So I'll share this little bit. Little Okay, so we'll start off with a little bit of sex, then we'll go into uh, what dating is like, trying to, to get to know somebody for something more substantial. So when I arrived, I, well, not when I arrived, but, you know, uh, a couple of months after I got here, I was like, I want a man. I want to have physical interaction with a man. And I, I found a man. And it was so interesting because he... He's an old, an elder gentleman. But, you know, he, he's handsome. And I caught the U Uber all the way to his house, and he lives in... Anyway, I caught the Uber all the way to his house, and... I was horny. I was. And I thought it was cute that he... I always have a special place in my heart for dudes who classify themselves as total tops. And... He was that. He is that. That's who he is. You know? And... I use the term was because at the time of our interaction, which was in the past. But I'm sure he still is a top. Anyway, y'all get it. But I remember I, I just was excited to um, touch a man and I felt before we got down to business, I felt his, what people call wood. And when I tell you, it's the, it was the biggest, biggest I had ever encountered. I, I was like, wow. And it's so interesting because he's such a nice, articulate guy and just just calm and all of that, like unassuming. I, I think that's the term. Or I think that's a term that can work. But in other words, you wouldn't expect that from him necessarily because, you know, in porn, whenever a guy has a, a huge member, he's all, you know, rah, rah, rah. But this guy was like, he's a chef. And anyway, he, he, he's, the, he's a very calm, laid back, educated fella. And I, I enjoyed our conversation. But, well not but, I enjoyed our conversation, period. When he pulled that thing out, because again, ultimately it was a hookup. It was a hookup with coffee, with no coffee. It was a hookup with talking. And when he pulled that thing out, I was like, and on his profile, his profile said it was like nine inches. And I'm like, wow, that's big. And when I get there, he's like, and he pulls out, he's like, well, you know, I say it's nine inches, but it's actually like 11 and a half. I was like, what? I am not a size queen at all. And I, I feel badly because he, 
he gave me some head. And I'm like, oh, well, but you're a total top, total tops don't give head. And he's like, yes, we do. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I never, ever, ever put his penis in my mouth. I never returned the favor. And looking back at it, it's not because I deliberately was like, I don't want to suck his dick. No, because if I thought about that, chances are I would have forced myself to do it anyway. But I, I, I just didn't. Like, when I saw how huge it was, I was like, wow. You know, well, I, I don't even know if I, I can do that um, any justice. You know, it was so big, so big. But... You know, we rolled around and kissed and all of that stuff on his bed. But that that was about it. And we talked we talked a little bit afterwards, but not not that much. You know, he was not into the fact that I did not give him any kind of penis pleasure at all. And I came over for a hookup. And I feel badly because I'm like, with dudes who are have such large penises, like, who takes it? You know, because you would have to be very experienced or at least willing to learn very quickly with, with a, uh, what do they call that? A high ramp up or whatever. Have to learn very quickly with this person. But like I said, he's so sweet and kind and nice and unassuming and everything. It's like, he doesn't seem like the type of person who, who would get with you know, a prostitute or somebody who's like paid to take it, but, or with somebody who has that many miles on them. So granted, he, he was married before and the situation with his wife was probably, his wife who passed away, is probably that his wife was just, because of their love connection, just willing to learn to take it, you know? But for me, I was like, well, I, I, I really just didn't think about it because I, I just didn't know what to do. I was like dumbfounded. Anyway, so I've been dating this gorgeous guy he is chocolate. He's like... He's chocolate by racial standards. He's uh, lighter than me. Um, he, he's a gorgeous light brown Reese's uh, peanut butter cup. The, the peanut butter color. Yeah, he's that. But he's, he's gorgeous and he's such a sweet guy. And... He recently told me, he was like, no, we're not dating. And I get it, I get it. It's because he wants to... I move too quickly. And honestly, his profile... When I first hit him up, I read his profile. And his profile explicitly says that he's looking for friends and... basically looking for friends and with he, he said ultimately what, what was it looking for the Superman to my Batman who's willing to take the really long trek with me to reach that point of togetherness and I get it. So I was like, that's cool because, you know, maybe I need to not 
rush into things. And, you know, since I just got to Cleveland, it'll be nice to have a good Cleveland friend and then see where things evolve. And, yes. But, but he's so nice. And he's so consistent. Oh my gosh, y'all. He is so consistent. I don't know. I mean, we're just friends. We're just friends. And he said, if you find somebody else, that's fine. You know, we're just friends. If I find somebody else, that's fine. We're just friends. And I'm like, okay, I, I, I can work with that. You know? I like him a lot, though. I'm so honest with y'all. I like him a lot. I do. And I think I can be, you know, especially with the Verse TV plug, hashtag V-E-R-S-T-E-A-B. Subscribe. But especially with Verse TV taking up so much of my time, because if I'm, it takes up a lot of time. I, I'm putting a lot of effort into this, and we're starting to see growth, and that's a really good thing. All of that to say, with Verse TV taking up so much of my time, it's not like. I am throwing myself out there to try to find many other dates, you know? So it's like, I'm cool taking my time and seeing what develops, whatever it may be with him, you know? And I, of course, hope and hope that uh, beautiful, lovely, happily ever after life together successes for the future. But I'm, I'm not rushing. And like I, I understand what he says, you know, we're not exclusive, you know. I don't know if he's dating other people. He could. And he can, and I, I wouldn't, I would be cool with it, you know. I would, I would, because we're not exclusive or anything like that. Anyway, I do really like him, and he is extremely consistent, which is, I don't want to say it's a change from what I had experienced in Maryland, D.C., Maryland, but because I, I don't want to make it seem like Maryland guys are all poo, poo, you know, but Maryland, D.C. guys are, you know, no, I don't know if I can say something like that because I always feel that wherever you are, th there can always be Somebody, uh, 13 minutes, okay. Somebody special. But, according to the gay dating coach, he very strongly says the dating scene is very different depending on where you live. And I never thought that had an effect, but according to him, it does. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But... Well, no, I'm not going to say maybe, maybe not. It's probably the way that it manifests itself and that some people, while the dating scene might be um, one way, that doesn't mean that it's impossible for you to find somebody who matches you. Anyway, I'm well, y'all. I love you all. Subscribe to hashtag Verse TV and yeah, peace, stay blessed. And I'm I, I'm I'm working, staying active. Peace, stay blessed.